Hey guys, it's an England Toya. Today, I want to go over some nerfs to the TIE Defender that people were really hoping for, and also some buffs to the B-Wing and the Y-Wing. Hopefully, you guys don't mind the stars Battlefront 2 in the background. I didn't have any squadrons footage on hand, and I want to get this out sooner rather than later. So, this patch was a balanced patch, uh, as is going to be every other patch that really gets released, because there's no longer live service to squadrons. In fact, there was never really supposed to be any life service at all. So I'll start with the TIE Defender. Uh, in this patch they increased the boost activation cost by 15% and decreased the boost charge rate by 10%. Then they decreased the number of missiles that the Defender could carry. Concussion missile count went from 6 to 4 and the ion missile count went from 6 to 4 as well. On top of that, the advanced power system received a 20% increase on its cooldown. So how will this change how you play the TIE Defender? The answer depends on your loadout. If you have the APS or advanced power system, you aren't going to be able to use it to replenish your shields as often. It also means that you can't get into the action as fast and be as safe if you want to use the APS on your shields when you spawn and then boost till you get to the fighting. With the nerfs to boosting and build up, I think that we'll be seeing less survivability, barely less, in the TIE Defender uh, as it will be less able to just dodge around, but it will still be very hard to kill them. So the problem is less problematic now, but only by a little bit. So with the missile changes, I also see that the TIE Defender will have to return to the capital ships or rely more on their team support ship in order to uh, keep up their intensity. So the B-Wing got some pretty mad buffs in this patch. Uh, the boost max speed went from 200 to 210. The shields on the B-Wing got a buff of 100, and the boost loss rate went down by 33.3%. So, I don't think this patch ends up doing a lot for the B-Wing. The increased boosting speed is half decent, but wasn't really helping what the main problem with the B-Wing is. The shields are actually a step in the right direction, although it's somewhat minimal. And the boost loss rate is okay, but you can really easily make your boost loss rate zero effectively by using the slime engine which generates boost if you just have any power in the system. The Y-Wing got a much more sizable buff than the B-Wing did. Here's what changed. The boost generation rate was increased by 30%, which is very much needed in my opinion. The boost consumption rate was also decreased by 43%. Uh, together, I think that these help make the Y-Wing a much more viable bomber that can actually make it to the target, maybe get away from the target, hopefully survive a tail uh, long enough to retreat to safety. I think that a strat that will become a lot easier to pull off in the Y-Wing is going to be charging uh, your thing a boost and then boosting once you're around 2,000 meters um, to the range to start attacking the target. Anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and tell me in the comments what nerfs or buffs you want to see in the next patch. Anyway, Nagmontoya signing off.